everyone. It's Luca here. I'm Jerusalem. Michael here as well. Oh, Michael here as well. Yeah. How are all of you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all right. good. And yeah. Jerison here. Yeah, I'm here too. I think we all kind of got our introductions mixed up. <laughs> yeah, we, all, we're all, we all said our names. We're all good. But then we have a lot of breaking news today to talk about. Uh, yeah, we have... Uh, there are quite a few uh, major topics that happened recently this week that we are going to discuss for today. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I believe we are going to start with the uh, something related to the Sakamichi groups. Mm -hmm. um, oh. I don't know who's going to talk about it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Am I talking about it? I mean, uh, you can if you want. You were the one who told me about it. Okay, yeah, but um, you can, yeah. So, I think this was a couple of days ago now, but um, mm. the 15 members of the combined Sakamichi audition uh, auditions have become thank you, sir, for all three groups. Um, I don't have the names off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> I got them right here. I got the uh, article up about them. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have Endo Hikari, Ozono Rei, Oruma Akiho, Kuromi Haruka, Kosaka Marino, Sato Rika, Takashi Mikuni, Hayashi Runa, Masumoto Kira, Matsuo Miyu, uh -huh. Matsuoka Nanami, uh -huh. uh, Morimoto Matsuri, uh -huh. Moria Rena, Yamaguchi Haruyo, and Yumiki Nao. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My favorite my favorite from looks straight off the bat that has to be Moria Rena. She reminds me of so many Sakamichi members. Like, each time <laughs> I look at her, she reminds me of a different member. And it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> First, she reminded me of Aka than herself. Uh -huh. I don't know why, she just gave me Nen vibes. Ah. And next time I look... Oh, I have a whole... Uh, next time I look at her, she reminds me of Sagai. Uh -huh. And she reminds me of Hori. She reminds me of Watanabe Rika. I don't know why, but I'm hoping she gets into Keiki. She looks a little to a lot of members? She, yeah. Oh, I have a question like, Go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm not exactly, she doesn't exactly look like Akman. She looks like more of the other three that I've mentioned, but she just gives me, like, a men, like, aura. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay, well, uh, have, well, I have a question about that. So you mean now that the 46ers are not going to have Kinkuses now? I don't know, but these guys weren't chosen during the combined audition, so I think management are trying to trying to find a way to add them in, I suppose. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, because, I mean, because I know AKB has the concuses as well, too, so it's like I, they're, they're starting to use the, the system where they have concuses? Probably. I have, I have no clue. I mean, that mm -hmm. makes uh, what the 46 group, they just do through auditions, on, like, and then when you're, in your, when you go part in the group, you're actually in the group already, compared to, let's say, AKB. <laughs> Where somehow you're when you're in the group, you're a Kinkuse, and then you're not into the group until you're actually promoted. So, what you mean, like, what they could potentially do with these 15 girls is that they're going to like do maybe stuff on their own, and then when they get promoted later, they can join the other groups. I, mean, they I don't know, join them as they are actually as they're still in the group. I mean, they perform with the, the, with the rest of the group sometimes, like with AKB. No, I. I think, like with the fourth gen, second gen, and you know, no. uh -huh. um, what's gonna happen is they actually a management which group that they want to go into, uh -huh. and the management mm -hmm. figure out where to put them. I think uh -huh. uh, Yamasaki Ten actually wanted to be in Keiki initially, uh -huh. and uh -huh. she got into Keiki, uh -huh. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, like just from first of impression, some of these girls look uh really nice. They look really cute. I think uh, a lot of them will get into Hinata Zaka. I'm Hinata not gonna lie. Or, I could see or, that. Or it might be an even split. 
I have a niche or, group. Uh, oh, um, that could be interesting. It's like there's like 15 think, members, so that's like five. Yeah, that's good. yeah, that's, yeah, that works. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm very interested to see uh, what is in store for these girls. Uh -huh. uh, so moving right along, we can continue on with uh, Sakamichi related news. Mm -hmm. How about we, we start news? up? Yeah, can we have happy news, please. Can, so yeah, okay. let's start off with uh, Hinatazaka46, who released the full music video for their oh. third single. Oh. Uh, yeah, they released a radio preview first, and then they released the music video. Konna ni suki ni natsatte ii no? I've got the song in my head already. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the music video is so pretty. I'm it not is. Gonna lie. Yeah, and, like, and, and like uh, the video is kind of like, like the, as long as like actually an exact, an exa oh, I, I hear something. Oh. That's the song. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the song is actually great. I mean, it's like an example shows an example of what uh, Hinata Zaka Forty Six is. Well, in the music, it's kind of like Hinata Zaka Forty Six doing Kiyaku Zaka Forty Six doing Nogi Zaka Forty no, Six's sing out. No, I think the song is more Nogi. Sounds more Nogi, mm -hmm. yeah. And, yes, and the aesthetics of the music video are more Nogi, but. The Choreography is more tacky. Yeah, kind of like, like Hinata's No, is... I get what you mean because this is very different from the previous two singles that Hinata Zaka put mm -hmm. out, uh -huh. which were very uh, more upbeat, very uh, happy. It's like, it's, this is definitely it's more like, of the slower emotional yeah. song. Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, Captain Sasaki Kumi said previously. It it, it was an, emo an, an emotional song mm -hmm. and really does show. And as you said, the previous two singles kind of encompass their motto of happy aura. Or happy is aura. <laughs> and Hinata's like a or is this one? Go, go ahead. on, Garrison. Oh, go ahead, Michael. No. Go I've completely forgotten what I was going to say, so go <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, so, so I just want to say, but I mean, but Hinata, I would kind of describe Hinata's like 46 as like Nogi Zaka 46 with, let's say, the choreography of Keaki Zaka 46. What can I think? What the group is? Get both of them in one group. Well, yeah, but they're also their own thing too, because they have a clear, you know, clear aesthetic, a clear image that is different it's... from both Nogi Zaka and Kiyaki Zaka. Yeah. But it's like or... Nogi are the e it's like Nogi are the elegant oldest sister. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Kiyaki are the Yes, middle sister, and then there's Hinata, who are the happy-go-lucky youngest sister. <laughs> and Yoshimura Zaka... <laughs> I actually really like uncle. that image I'm getting right now. <laughs> and, and is the mid middle sister that, like, in the in puberty and just, like... Mm -hmm. Kind of, like, catchy in a way, but not exactly. <laughs> and uh, Yoshimura Zaka, 46, is kind of like their uncle. Yeah, that's They're, weird <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're weird uncle. They're a weird uncle. Yeah. <laughs> they still have, I still have them. I'm sorry, I love that image so much. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, in terms of the music video, I did like a lot of the shots that we got from mm -hmm. it, especially with the dancing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the choreography was very pretty. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. There was one bit in the music video, I think... Uh, Ah, uh, it was like in the middle of the song. I know the members who I'm gonna talk about. It was, Sas it was Captain Kumi and that's the Konoka. They put the ballet skills to good use in oh, that. Oh, yeah, them dancing I love it. continually. And Kumi kind of looked like Eugen from Eyes One in the, so in the, in the music video. She looked like her. You yeah. think so? She looked her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really didn't, but to each their own, I suppose. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, but I kind of uh, right. as well. But I mean, in the video, that also that somehow they were it kind of looked like it was filmed in CinemaScope because I was kind of as the video progressed, kind of noted. I was watching throughout the video. I kind of noticed that the, the like the, the lens was kind of like was like moving a bit sometimes. So they might have used maybe let's say like one of those lenses that could do a more wider angle. I kind of like the beginning part where um. The members were just like talking amongst themselves, and then there was just now trying like walk, like walking in, and then as soon as she 
went to a position, bam, the song starts. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also kind of notice the handheld camera work too, which makes it more great. I mean, but, uh, also there's also an orchestra in this too. So instead of the choir we saw in like Sing Out, we have uh, an orchestra. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, in Sing Out, they had the little, like, the the, the the women in the background, while in the, this one, music video, we have an orchestra. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's a great music video. It might be, maybe the song might get best, uh, like, song at the Japan Record Awards. Maybe. Okay. Let's go to our next music All right. Uh, uh -huh. Next, I guess we can go on to Keakizaka. Does that sound good? I mean, yes. sure, I guess. Go ahead, Michael. So, Make the big announcement. Uh, so today on uh, Kek Zucker Show, Kek Zucker and I, it was a whole episode announcing the um, Nembatsu lineup for the group's ninth single. Nothing else about the uh, single has been announced, title, nor release date. Um, all that's mm -hmm. been revealed is that it's going to be released somewhere in the winter months, so around December to February. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to feel about that already. But, um, uh, hold on. Uh, okay. I have the lineup. Yeah, me too. Um, from left to right. Um, huh? Habu Mizuho. Mm -hmm. uh, you know Irina. Mm -hmm. Harada Aoi, Seki Yumiko. He's back. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Aoi's back uh, in Seki... the singles. Yeah. Yeah. She's actually back in singles. Uh, yeah. Seki Yumiko, uh, yeah. Umura Rina, and Fuyoshi Karen. Mm -hmm. uh, second row, it's Ta uh, from left to right. It's Takamoto Yui, Higai mm -hmm. Yuka, Morita mm -hmm. Hikaru, Moriya Akune, and Sato Shiori. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say this now. I sent this to Hirati. Did it again? I think I dropped a few seconds. Uh, the sent this to Hirati Yurina. Oh, uh, here we go again. Yurina Harari. And there's a problem with um, But the other, four the other four members in front row are Kobayashi Yui, Matsuda Rina, Tamura Hono, and Watanabe Risa. Uh, Rina Ko is not in the single. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, they decided to drop members. Um, they have to put some new second gens members in this. In the majority scene. of the second gens are in this Simbatsu, actually. There are only three yeah, who aren't you. included, and that's Matsudaira, Riko, and Yamasaki. So. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the first gens that weren't included are Suzumoto Miyu, uh -huh. Nagasawa Nanako, Oda Nana, oh, Ozeki Rika. There's three that I. Can't name off the top of my head. Uh, Saito Fuyuka, Ishi, Shimori Nijika, uh, Koike Minami. Yes, <laughs> there were seven fish gen and two second gen who went in about two. It's kind of a shame because the majority of Keiki's dancing talent just gone. Wait, so it's maybe the music video may not involve a lot of dancing, then maybe the reason why they're not in the single? I suppose. Well, I mean, okay, that's, that's... There is Kobayashi and Hira there as well, but... Yeah, uh, but I'm not sure Yuna's gonna dance a lot since, you know, her her arm is injured. Yeah. I mean, I... As much as I'm happy most of my Yoshis are in there, like, there's Akan, and there's Hono, there's Yuka, there's Hikaru, all near each other too. It's just... I, I don't know what management are thinking, honestly. Hmm. If we link it to the CM songs that were released, it mm. definitely will be Sajin, which was the Echoed Man Refresh CM song. Okay. It will cool. uh, probably it will be a side. Mm. I think the likelihood of this single um, single song mm -hmm. and the Simbatsu, I think it would be Aeon Card CM song that is going to be the A side. Just think about it. The, the dancers of the group, Nijika, Mon, and um, Fuja, Mon, in Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. uh, here that this arm is still injured, if you think yeah. about it, uh, 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 like 
a happy go lucky song like Junikats in the Purun Kobit Kobi Konda is a good song for them at the moment. And besides, Hinata changed up their their concept a little with Konani skin ni Natino. So might as well might as well change it again, I suppose. I just kind of noticed that also that uh, that Yurina was actually in the studio when in the episode. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she was in a sling. Oh yeah. Considering her injury. Her cast. But I don't think so. Maybe just bandages on the elbow. But I don't think yeah. it's a long cast. Well, how many injuries but, did Yurina had in the pa- since she was in the group? How, how many injuries did she have? Oh, mm. I, there was her hip injury. Yeah. There was um in uh Keki House. She had a wrist and an elbow injury. Mm-hmm. Um, and then now that now, I think about it, she's had a lot of elbow and arm injuries. And then now she... It's the same arm as well. It's her right arm as well. Her right elbow back and her right elbow now. But isn't it one um, of her injuries she, like, fell off the stage? I thought it was from last year's tour. I don't know I don't know if her hip injury was the cause of it. That was the cause of her hip injury, but I think, oh yeah, she, yeah, she had like upper arm injuries, muscle injuries as well. She had, Insert, she had to be in, mm-hmm. she had to be in a sling for that um, early last year, and then she even had surgery too. Uh, no, she didn't. I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay, for her hip injury, I think. No. Oh, okay. No. 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 Oh. Um, I think if she had surgery on something, we would have heard about it. And she would be out for way longer than... Oh. Yeah. And then she wouldn't have been in Black Sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Call me at Shisanta. <laughs> if, if, if she wasn't in that, I think Yui Pong would have been the center for Kuroi Hiji. But... Oh, I could see that. I, I think one... A lot. Well, actually, only two members, I think. Um, four members, I think, stayed in their positions from last single, like exact same positions as last single. Mm-hmm. And that's Sigai, Mori, uh, Kobayashi, and Hirata. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel weirded out whenever they perform this song. Now there's gonna be like football captains in the middle of second row, and then there's just like Hikaru in the middle and not being able to be seen because Techi's way taller than her. Like, <laughs> the same age and Techi's way taller. Like, <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, mm. uh, but I mean, with the single, I mean, I know Michael said that maybe that Yi Kobayashi could have been the lead member of the single, but who could have been the lead member of the single other than Yuna Harate? Well, this one? Yeah. Suzumoto, but she's not in this lineup at all. I think it would be Kobayashi because she's probably the next year in a Harade, since there were hints no. of that when they performed Black Sheep. True, but a lot of people are saying Suzumoto because of her performing prowess, like how power she has whenever she performs. Oh well, yeah, when she, per- she substituted for uh, your arena on like Music Station uh, Super Live last year. When they yeah, did it in yeah. By the way, this... Um, the members knew about this since July, and oh. they were performing. And they were performing in this year's tour whilst. Oh, was... they knew in advance. Oh, okay. Uh... Um, but yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna be right back. Uh, one. Okay, All right. but let's keep on talking about the this. So. What do you think the sing- what will happen in the single? Do you think uh, the ten members that weren't included in the Simbatsu, hopefully this is the center. Please, oh, for the love of God, single. management. Yeah, for the love of God, management, please make Mon Thunder, or else I will kill somebody. Also, oh, you're finally an undergirl single in Kiyokizaka. This is what the center song, like, for the love of God. And how old is she? You... How old is she? She, she sing. Miss Suzumoto. Who? Who? Uh, she, she, she's the same. How does she sing? How well does she sing? When... Uh, she's not. 
the best. He has the best dancer. Oh, dancer, yeah, I know. But I mean, like, uh, uh, go ahead, Michael. Think better singers than Monta really. There's Nijiko, Ishimori Nijiko, for example. Huh? She's a good dancer and a good singer. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Well, what the song in the in this will, will, will sound like? Do you think? No, I don't know. I mean, it could really be anything. Hopefully, a happy song. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, not a dance intensive song. Like for the love of God, if she is bound to a wheelchair for ever, I'm gonna uh, be quite upset. Oh yeah, and like, uh, what do you think the music okay, will I'm look back. like? Okay, I'm back. back. What do you think yeah, sorry about that. Like? My mom just got home with groceries and I needed to oh, yeah. get my brother to help oh. her. Oh, good. Well, we were actually just keeping on talking about the, the, the single, so it's all good. I, I don't actually... Uh, maybe a story-based single? We haven't had a, an A-side with a proper story. Uh. Um, we've had hmm. B-sides like that. There was, um... Like, um... You can then see it in a Takasa, for example. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh huh. It's an actual novel. Oh, oh, oh. Which I've read. It's very sad, and it makes sense for the music video. Okay. It makes sense. Is it the novel that I'm thinking about? I, I, think I showed you the novel, but I'm not. In yeah, it's of... the one that appeared in the music video, right? The uh. The one. Oh, the one with was the holding. The, the the one that Akinen was holding while she was asleep. That one. Yeah. The Night on the Galaxy Railroad, something yeah, the, like that. The Night on the yeah. Galaxy Railroad, that's the same of the book, yeah. Yeah, that's a really famous novel. I've never read it, but it's very famous. I've, I've read it. It's, it's so I've read the translation of it. It's so sad. It's mm. so sad. I know that there's a uh, animated movie out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, in fact, um, you can directly refer to, refer to the characters in the the main characters in the book like something like that I, mm. i'd like that mm -hmm. i kind of hope for another like beside wise obviously undergirl song but like more units uh. like maybe maybe a reinvigorated alzora to marry mm. with six members and add habu and kobayashi to it yeah. okay <laughs> I, i'd like that well, I mean, I know, but we also have another major uh, breaking news with uh, Keiki Zaka 46 as well, too. You can go ahead with that, Michael. Um, no, 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 no. 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 We're we'll we'll talking about it. that later. Oh, okay, okay. We're Let's... talking about it later. Um, okay. So... Uh, the Eyes 1 news before the sad 48, uh, 48 group news. Uh, I'll leave All it right. to you, Rika, since you're, you're a fan of Eyes 1. So yes, they released the uh, second teaser for the music video of their uh, third upcoming Japanese <laughs> single, uh -huh. Vampire. So what did it and like? Jerison, have you seen it? Oh no, as I said, I'm going to wait till the video is released, which probably might be released tomorrow, actually. Oh. Yeah, but... Okay. So what, do you, what happens in this next uh, sneak peek? Uh, it's just another... A relatively short teaser. We do get to see more of like the visuals of the members themselves, and we also get to hear snippets of the song itself. Mm. Uh, once again, just based off this whole gothic vampire aesthetic, I personally really like that. Mm. But then also the preview that we get of the song, just from like the snippet that we got, which was of the chorus, mm. I really like it. Well, hopefully it's great. Not like what happened with the previous single, mm -hmm. Buenos Aires, which we thought it was going to be a great yeah, song. No, I like this better than Buenos Aires yeah. already. What about all, all of the singles overall? Uh, uh, hard to compare because, like, K-pop and J-pop are two, you know, completely different. But, like, in terms of, like, comparing, like, their previous uh, Japanese singles, yeah. I'd say... Personally, I think this could be on par with Sukito Iwasetai, which that one was a really good debut single. I, li I like that one. Oh, wow, that's I like great... that song. Of the Japanese, but for this, all of the singles overall, probably Violetta, because it's like very dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, v v good. 
With the but yeah, the, I am super excited. The music video for Vampire is gonna be, be like, which there is um so huh? so uh, um thirteenth uh, this coming week. Huh? Um, both Eyes One and AKB <laughs> are going to be appearing on Music Station, huh. and Eyes One is going to perform Vampire. So that's a hint that they're probably going to release the music video somewhere this week. Because usually they would release the video before they perform Music Station. Yeah, if not soon, then probably uh, Vampire, the performance on Music Station, is going to be the first time we're going to see it. Because uh -huh. I know there are some instances like that where the first time we would hear or see a performance of the song, it would be a TV performance and then they release the music video. Like, that is pretty common, especially with Japanese groups. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, yeah, and AKB also, they are going to perform both uh, and Oh. Mm. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to that performance. Well, that'll be, but it's going to be in its uh, new time slot, or it's still going to be on at the usual 8 o'clock? Probably in its new time slot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So now we're later. I'll check real quick. I'll see if they have it on here. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, eight o'clock Japan time. Oh, All same, right. same time as usual. Around eight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll be good. Okay. That's 12 p.m. British summer time, so. Well, around... And that's, uh, I believe that's 7 a.m. for me. Me or four o'clock a PST, though it kind of begins at around three fifty-five because they usually like something before the actual show begins where they show kind of like the top ten songs in the country. Four a.m. You mean? My my area, yeah. So like seven a.m. Wow, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, it's probably night. Well, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. Okay. What we're we gonna talk about next. Uh, uh, I guess we can um, go on to some of the other news, I suppose. Hmm. So yeah, uh, for uh, the last bit of the major topics, we can start with NMB48. Yeah, can I announce this? Uh, well, well, when did she uh, announce sure. this? Okay, uh, so... Uh, you know what, I'll pull it up. Okay, so, like... It was on uh, September oh, wait, wait. 4th, actually. It was during uh, yeah, their... Okay. Tour? They're oh, yeah, was the at tour. the NHK Hall. Oh, I think it's the Ooh. beginning of their tour, I think. Yeah, the first stop of their tour. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. NHK Hall. Oh. Was it in the one in, Os in Osaka or in Tokyo? Um, okay, we should announce what happened because uh, we didn't say what happened yet. Season. I think she's in Team Men, but Otto Yuri announced her graduation. During the in, concert, in the yeah. Set. Yeah, surprisingly, yeah. During their peak, mm -hmm. even Queen Ted's peak. Mm. And um, during when, like, she said that s some people in the audience were saying, like, uh, don't leave the group. And then she somehow said uh, that, oh, the reason why she's leaving the group is probably because she wants to get out of her comfort zone and do something. Mm. So, yeah, I actually have the article up. So, uh... many graduations. <laughs> So, Yuri explained to fans that she wants to keep moving, moving forward and thinks that she can do better on her own. Therefore, she made the decision to graduate from the group. Uh, she also told fans that she will remain in show business after graduation and hopes that her fans will keep supporting her. She did not reveal her graduation schedule yet. I think this is something she's leaving, I think, in the beginning of next year, I think, they said. Uh, I wonder. Think it, whoa. Oh, God. They still have a tour. You know? I mean, I could see that if they do decide to give her uh, a center for the next single as like a graduation yeah. send off. Mm. Maybe possibly they might release an, a Queen Ted album possibly before she leaves the group. Hopefully, a Queen Ted album would be great before she leaves. Hmm. Too it's... many graduations. Yeah, this was something that definitely did surprise me because, like, even though I don't follow NMB as much as I used to, I know that Elsa yeah. is one of well, the very them, popular members, and She's, Queen yeah. Ted is doing incredibly good. Yeah. yeah. So how is this going to affect Queen Ted? I mean, now that they have us another member now, do they 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 keep on going with just the three members still, or they might put a new member? 
Well, I was thinking actually the idea of adding a new member is pretty interesting, but uh, I I think it would be interesting to see them try and go on even when Ota Yuri left the group. Like, I kind of remember this is just personally for me, but with uh, Diva, oh. the AKB unit Diva, mm -hmm. um, they did take some time off after uh, Masada Yuka graduated, mm -hmm. and uh, they did actually release a a single where it was just uh, Miyazawa Saya, Umeda Ayaka, and uh, Akim Akimoto Sayaka, Umeda Ayaka, Miyazawa Saya. Yeah, it was just the three of them. They did a cover of World War Tonight, which is actually a really good cover. Mm -hmm. Although, okay. um, even though they did uh, disband after the release of their fourth single, Discovery, and they released an album and had a goodbye concert, mm -hmm. Um, that did technically happen after both Akimoto Saka and Masada Yuka had graduated from AKB. Mm -hmm. And I know that, like, originally Queen Tet was... Oh, I think, uh... They... Can, you can, you, can you say what you're saying oh, again? Fine. You could say what you're saying again. You dropped for a few seconds. Did I? Yeah. yeah you okay. did. Okay, I don't know what that was about. But we can hear you. Okay, go. But yeah, I was thinking it would be interesting that maybe they could try. Uh, even though I think it, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. I thought of the idea of maybe Ota Yuri, uh, still continuing to work with Queen Ted even after she left the group. But yeah, maybe that would be difficult for her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I still do think that's an interesting discussion of like what is going to uh happen with the group oh. i will say though yeah. since they are doing pretty well i think they'll be okay even after ota yuri decides to leave and whatever they decide to do whether they decide to continue on as the three of them or to add one or two more members like make make it an actual quintet again because quintet quintet it was a play on words when it was the original five uh, I'm sorry, I have to plug up my laptop. I think Akari said something that it was originally going to have uh, four members. And then they, they added another member, and then that member left because of uh, something unexpected, and then they went back to the usual lineup. Really? Yeah, I mean, like, Akari said something about that they uh, they originally it was going to have four members originally. Even though the, num the main Queen Tet, that would be usually for five members. Yeah. Well, it's A Queen Tet. tet. Quintet, yeah. A quintet. It's, yeah, it's just a play on words on the word quintet. Yeah. Yeah. But also, Yuri kind of pulled off a Sayaka Yamamoto, like, when she, like, when she announced that she left, the, she will leave the group, she announced during the beginning of their tour last year? Oh, yeah, she did do that. Yeah, so, like, oh, and then, I mean, like, Matt from the MMB, Takiyaku said a tweet that, oh, it's a way that she can get a single. Hmm. Yeah, but I want well, to Well, again, we'll see uh, whether or not she does end up centering a single. But oh. yeah, for Ota Yuri, it is going to be incredibly sad seeing her yeah. leave NMB, but oh. best wishes to her going forward in her career. Can I say something Agreed. about Yuri? Because I know no. that, that you're, out of the, although she on uh, Hori is my Oshman in the group, out of the predominant members, uh, Yuri is actually like my favorite member of the predominant members. and. Mm. Yeah, she's a the the song that this the video that kind of convinced me to like her was the uh, the video music video of the Team B track on the Sayaka Yamamoto's uh, last sit single with the group. And that was very yeah, she sounded great in it. But mm. also, I mean, like the thing is that oh, is that with is that like out of like um, all all of the lead members in the um, the additional track on Yuko Oshima's last hit single, which had like. Her as well as Jury and Yukatano, all of those lead members are now not in the group when she was the group. Hmm. You know the one where when Jury like goes back to a school? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I remember that one, yeah. Yeah, by the time Yuri leaves the group, all the lead members in that, in that song are now not in the group. Hmm. Yeah, she'll, she's a, she'll, she'll have a great career after she leaves the group. Okay. All right. All right. So that's it for the major topics. Uh, now, if there is anything else that you guys would like to talk about, feel free to bring it up. Uh, sure. All right. 
since might uh, might as well talk about these three separate pieces of news because they all fall under the same category of scandals. Uh, Okay. I guess we can uh, go ahead and get that out of the way, yeah. uh, Majority of... Two-thirds of these actually come from Sakamichi and not from 48, which is actually surprising to me. Um, I don't know which one you guys want to get into first because one, to be honest, is worse than the other two. Let's begin with going with the with the forty six groups first. That's the that's some big ones. So I might as well talk about the Hinata one because um, uh, this particular member, like this particular scandal, wasn't touched upon for a week since it was first um, hinted at. But um, Higuchi Mao actually stepped forward and confessed that it was her behind those like in those pictures okay. it was her who got caught and as a result of it she discussed with management to actually put her on the sidelines in terms of activities um, so she won't be in any activities going forward and her mobile her mobile mail service is suspended as of today actually September 9th in Japan Wait, but is that her boyfriend in those pictures? Um, I don't know, but she confessed that the dating scandal revolved around her. Oh, um, did Bunshin the... release this? Pick... No, Sorry? it was it was it was a um, another news site actually. It was oh, okay. um, a picture of a member now we know as Iguchi Mao with a guy holding hands, <laughs> but the problem was with the particular picture. It was uh, the picture was only taken from the back. But fans were really quick to um, deduce that it was Mao uh, because of the particular clothes she was wearing because she posted pictures with similar clothing on her blog. So, blog and mobile. So, oh, yeah. And then now she confessed that it was actually her. And, um, Sorry. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, again, it's happening during their peak. Yeah, well, not really. It's their debut days. Um, they released three singles in a year, like what Kaeki did during their debut. Yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, she's like, that's surprising. It's Mao Gooch being a little in a condo for I mean, it's like, you know, she's like the I, I, hon- I honestly thought it would have been one of the more popular members. Older, no, but a- popular. Not written now. Probably someone like Kato Shiho or Saito Kyoko of all people, but Iguchi Mao. Uh, Igu- Mao surprises me in a lot of ways, and this I do not think would be one of those reasons. <laughs> uh, so does uh, that mean she's probably going to drop in my rankings, probably? Now that she I didn't... don't know. Dep- I don't know. It depends what you, how you take this, really. Well, For me, personally, uh, even though I did kind of hear some details about this scandal happening and people speculating that it was Mao, I didn't really pay attention to it. But personally, I, I think the fact that she did step oh, up and yeah, say, oh, yeah, it was me who was involved with this, that was a really mature move on Mao. Oh. And I think... I hate to say this, but Mao really puts a lot of, like, a lot of the time puts a lot of blame on herself, like, not being good at singing, not being good at dancing, and now this. I kind of feel bad for her in a way, Hmm. because she is a great member for Variety. Yeah. Um, But, like, for her to have such a burden on herself um, about her abilities as an idol, Hmm. let alone a scandal, on top of that, I think I think step away from idol activities. I think it's good for her not only physically but mentally as well. Mm. Just like step back, realize what mm. it means to um, be an, an idol. And I think mm. that's great on her that she's discussing with management, and I think she said discuss. With management, what her what will happen as 
it goes on. And I kind of hope there is no discussions of graduation either, mm. because graduation could be on the table for all we know, and we won't know um, until mm. it actually gets in now. Mm -hmm. At least it's just she's being honest, although, and she's probably going to be on a hiatus. Huh? Mm. Yeah, she will be on a hiatus uh, from activities. I don't think she'll be in the same. Well, at least she'll be in the. Either, I, don't think. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least she'll be in the rest of uh, this season of Hina Bingo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, I uh. suppose. Not as. Uh, hello? I I think you dropped Michael? Kekizaka 46. Okay. Uh, Kekizaka 46, remember, all the Nana was in a dating scandal. Oh. This time, this time it was from Bunshin. Um, oh, Bunshin. <laughs> according even... to the anonymous tip um, that Bunshin got, um, I think it was she was revealed to be with. Oda is living with this person. Um, apparently, they went out on a shabu shabu date. Huh. Oh, so they're um, just talking, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Well, it's I revealed it. Not be a true. No, there is a lot of um, details about it um, oh. that I I not believe personally, especially the fact. This person is it, uh, is living with other specifically, uh -huh. and uh, um, I think off the top of my head, um, this person she was supposedly dating had a girlfriend around su around early summer. Broke up with the person. He told uh, one of his friends, we'll call them call them A, uh -huh. um, that he was dating a. Uh, Exactly, member, and that person I think probably bunching off about it. But um, although this this guy has denied that he is dating other, they're just friends. I mm. kind of doubt it though. <laughs> um, but he is a vocational student. Um, he's a model in men's non no. Um, oh, and, uh, sorry. Oh, guys, if you guys know the magazine. A no no. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be like, like someone get caught uh, with the memory in the What, is that like a fashion magazine? Yeah. You know how Watanabe Risa is a model for Nonno magazine? Yeah. yeah it's the know. men's version of that magazine. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like um, kind of when you it, get caught with a, with a per member in a Johnny's group. Similar. Um, Hopefully can, I, can I just say? Yeah, yeah. I actually found... Um, and I actually found a picture of the person, but his um, uh, from the pictures that Bunshin gave us, it looks to me he dyed his hair blonde. In the pictures from the men's non site, this guy looks this guy isn't blonde, but I don't know. This is, I I don't think it's true. I'm just get I laughed it off when I heard about it, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's funny. <laughs> oh, by the way, like Higuchi, Oda was the last person I was expecting to have a dating scandal. I I, I feel bad for throwing my own Oshman under the bus, but I thought Akinen was gonna get one before Oda. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. Well, hopefully it doesn't get into a controversy. I, 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 don't, I don't want that. Obviously. Fingers crossed. Yeah, like fingers crossed, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Uh, Jed, uh, me as well as a lot of other fans I know were expecting men to get one before all the, but world, 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 and slowly, mm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I wasn't exactly sure to feel how about that either because like I was still thinking like, oh, they're not really dating. I just thought it was like they are just like. I Friends hanging out, like close friends. I, I thought from like the description of him being a vocational student, Oda is in university right now. Maybe they were classmates just yeah. hanging out. Mm -hmm. uh, I, do, I don't know at this point. Me neither. 
maybe also maybe they're living in the same dorm together as well because apparently he's living with her so i don't know but mm -hmm. mina it could be anything really and i'm i'm like eh. <laughs> all right so i guess we can move on to uh the last one um, and then we can get more happy news, I suppose. This one is worse than the other two. Because huh. more, mm, more of escape pictures got released of this. Um, well, it involves it being a lot of skin showing, I think, from one of the pictures. But um, Team 8's Yokoyama Yui was also in a scandal. Surprisingly, I just found out about this just now. Why is yeah, she I, I um, because there were pictures leaked on the internet um, with her and a guy from back when she was like 15, 15, 16, I think. 15, 16. Yeah, one of them, she looked like she was just wearing a bikini. Like a lot of skin was showing. Well, then she the other... shows skin a and lot then... sometimes. And then the other two pictures are her and this guy kissing and being lovey dovey. I don't know how to feel about this one either. Not like, like not not like others in the way that oh maybe they're classmates maybe they're but like this was from three two three years ago. Oh, I three years ago. I, I don't know why people would bring it up all of a sudden, but mm. it was three years ago. Mm. But was this before? Well, I mean, but during that time she would be in Team Eight. Because we know Teamy began in 2014. She, she is, she is yeah. still in teammate. She still is in teammate. She's just Kenan with another group, I think. With another team, sorry, I think. Oh, yeah, but. she's also in Team K2 on a concurrency. Which, I want to say something hey, about this. Go. But, but Yi, uh, Yui-chan, I mean, yeah, she's actually a great member. I mean, I talked to her a few times on Showroom, and uh, she's a very fun... She's also the... Probably the best dancer on AK Bingo too in an episode they did last year. That's too. true. From what I've seen of like certain performances, yeah. her dance skills are amazing. Yeah, she was on Produce at Forty as well too. Though she was not in Eyes One, but I mean, it would be interesting if she was in Eyes One. But at least did she in... participate in Produce Forty Eight? Yeah, she was, I... and she didn't. And then she did that audition where the, the judges say she. I didn't know that. And then she um. She danced to the Taylor Swift song "The Watch Me Be Do," and then they put her in like a one of the lower groups. Oh, oh, yeah. I think she might have been eliminated early on, but yeah, I... later, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. That's probably why I don't remember. Oh yeah, but I mean, she, just just to to, know, just to um say that that uh, that she's from Amori. That's her. Uh, that's her read where she's from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, any more thoughts on this controversy? Not really. So um, as I'm the, I'm yeah, me neither. Say. I'm not really exactly sure how to feel about this. Um, I, I'm ambivalent on all three scandals, but I just I just I, hope I, that all three of them will be okay. Fact, I'm going back to order for just one second. The fact that. Sembatsu, because like a Sembatsu was announced today, a day after all the scandal was revealed. Mm. It's kind of sketchy to me, this timing. The timing? Like, um, obviously there was no previews last week of this week's Keokaka, maybe they planned it ages ago, but the timing is a bit sketchy, and the fact that she's not in Sembatsu is also... Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Yeah, and here's a bit more of a Yokama in my little uh, teammate uh, kind of book on their fifth anniversary. Oh, that's um, cute. So... Yeah, she shows soon sometimes. Okay, so should we get to some more happier news now? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, uh, can we go, um, up? you guys where we're going, but I kind of just want to get the Hinata Zaka, the rest of them. Ooh. Well, Possible. sure, we can start with uh, Hinata Zaka first, then. Sure, sure. I'm surprised the happy this, mm -hmm. but the group, but the, it's a reprint. 
Oh, I did yeah. my copy. I did get my copy fairly recently, and oh, was... I got the photo book as well, though it hasn't arrived yet. Hey, okay, maybe we can do it. Pre I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it like the first week it was announced. But I pre-ordered it. Well I, the 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 bikini shots, man. The bikini shots. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that now has more like. Risque shots, and she's seventeen than a lot of the other <laughs> twenty plus members. Like, oh. I mean, there's like Manamo, Katashi, Konko, uh, Ayaka as well. Uh, the other, the other, the shots are really nice and cute. And I, if you are a, a Hinata fan who's willing to support them through mm -hmm. monetary means, the photo book is a great way to do it. Hmm. Um, How many copies did it sell? How many copies did it sell? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, don't know. I have a number off the top Oh, I have it. Um, but, so the first week's sales, they sold approximately 95,143 copies. Was that great? That's pretty good. I mean, it's almost 100,000. Is that more than I, in Kiyoki's and Kia's photo book? Uh, this was like a hundred and fifty oh. plus, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't have the direct um numbers. But close enough. Close enough. Close enough. It was. It was a lot. It was a lot more than Hinata's, but I think oh. for for Hinata's this plus like. It was a message from Takizaki Memi, who unfortunately graduated recently, and from and like a few shots of Kageyama Yuko, who, as we know, is on hiatus. By the way, Kage's shots are very cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very cute. I, again, I hope she comes back soon and uh. as mature and as dorky as she was before she left. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I want. You know, the smart ass to be in the group again. Like, please. <laughs> please just save this dumb ass group. Like, uh. Aoi's back. Aoi's providing brain cells to Kirky. Can Kage do the same for Hinata? <laughs> like, come on, guys, come on. If we, if, we, well, well, if, we, if we go back to the, um, the academic district, uh, Ikake, the hmm. average score was half. <laughs> Okay. And Aoi, Aoi got the highest score by like a margin of seven or eight points. So I'm just like, you're like. <sighs> well, it's probably going to be a risque photo book, and probably maybe me and uh, and you, Michael, will probably do a review of the, of the, of the photo book. Um, mm, yeah. Well, probably, okay. Um, what was I going to I was going to say something else. Yeah. No, it's really gone off the top of my head, oh, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of like. I think something with the photo book. Oh yeah, the, no, oh no, it was a different photo book. I, it was okay. um about Kiminami's photo book um about how there was another uh, cover for it, oh. uh, which is one of the limited covers. I think I posted it to you guys a while ago. Oh, we but, showed. I know last week we showed the uh, the co the regular the cover of the regular, regular cover. Version. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the HMB limit cover was released on top of the message from uh, Akimoto Yasushi that always appears when Kirky members have a photo book. Um, oh, wait. I think forty six yes. group. Yasushi Akimoto did a message about the about the photo book. I know he definitely did one for Aknen's photo book, and yes, he did do one for Koike's as well. But uh, I, I, one, I don't have a translation for it. Two, I don't have it on. I don't have the picture with the message on hand. So, hmm. like an endorsement, like go get this photo book. No, it's not like that. I think yeah. it's um his view on the particular member and what this photo book is for the particular member. As far as I remember from Nens specifically. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. Um, since we're on the topic of photo books, mm -hmm. let's go on to some Nogi news. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm surprised this photo book keeps getting reprinted. 
but Shiroshi Mai's second photo book, Passport, gets another reprint. I don't know how many copies at this point. I know she, her sales are on like the two, high 200s, low 300,000 copies. Uh, let's and, see, I've got it up um, now. Uh, I don't even know when this print once again. The publisher is putting out the 26th prints of the photo book 26. up to 370,000 copies. 26 reprint. And when was this yearbook released? I think last year, wasn't it? Last year? Oh. I think so. Did they just keep on uh, reprinting the, the photo book so everyone can get a copy? Six. <laughs> and then the sales are in the 200,000, 300,000. The next closest mem uh, sales, I think, is like Nagahama Neru's Kokokara, <laughs> already, which is 200,000 copies. The photo book where she betrayed her thing. Num m numbers may be way off. I am. I apologize in advance, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, While we're on the topic of Nogizaka, huh? we can also talk about uh, some of the sales for their recent single. Uh -huh. So uh, the first day and the second day sales uh, were recently announced. Mm -hmm. So on the first day sales on September 4th, they had sold 788,576 copies on the first day. Mm -hmm. And then on the second day, uh, they had sold 88,079 uh, copies. They even beat King and Prince too, which is uh, amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, and they, also, and they topped the uh, Oricon's daily single chart as well. They also break the, this like group called Breakers, but yeah. I don't know who they are, but I don't know them as well. But at least that's great that Nogi is number one. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, their single is really good. Yeah, you think it's gonna be uh, get best song at the Japan Record Awards? You think? No, I don't. I don't know. Depends. Uh, depends on which songs from every group is getting nominated. I, to be honest, yeah. I think I think Sakamichi will be close since it's the legit only single Kaki released yeah. this year. Black Sheep, yeah, released probably. this year. Yeah, and because it's also kind of yeah. you could say the theme song of let's say what happened with the Maho Yamaguchi assault. Uh, Hinata Zaka, I think it would be Doremi Torashiro, but again, it might be Kyun as well. Maybe their next uh, single? Then... Hopefully it's released before eligibility deadline, probably? I, I don't know when the eligibility deadline is, but the single will get released early October. Yeah, that should, be before, that should be before eligibility deadline, so it, it could possibly be nominated. On, on top of... On top of um, Matt, uh, I did hear that one of the B-sides is getting a radio preview tomorrow, but I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. uh. Alright, so also uh, related to Nogizaka, they had announced uh, a new show that is going to be on Ameba TV. Mm, it's called Nogizaka 46 World Trip. Oh, I, I, I actually... Yeah. What does that mean? Who's Konno-san? Um, he's the he's the guy who um, for example, he was the guy who announced the mem. He's like one of the only people I think who deals with Sakamichi. He was the one who announced um, the, he was the one who did the showroom for the Zambi stage face, like both of them. Okay. He he, he sorts out. Um, Sakamichi releases as well. Oh, yeah. Come on, right. son, give us a K, another Kirky DVD. <laughs> Come on. I mean, this is. Uh, like... So, yeah, this new show is going to be a travel program. Ah. And the first episode is going to be Shirai Shimai and Matsumura Sayuri in Hawaii. They're going to Hawaii again. And it's going to air on October 12th. Oh, so it begins October 12th on the Bima TV. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so actually was, pretty interested to see this. this uh, that was that September 5th announcement. Well, 
yeah, it's like a great show. To, they're going to go around the world. Hey, maybe they might go to Canada, maybe. Maybe go to Vancouver. <laughs> we'll see. Possibly. Hey, I might see some members, too. It does kind of make me think of uh, French Kiss had a travel show where they went to different locations around the world. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys remember that, if either of you saw it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know that. I miss those types of shows. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited to see... Uh, where the girls are all going to go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, October 12th, we'll look forward to... Mm-hmm. Oh, all I... right, okay. what shall we talk about next? Hmm. Let's see if we can talk about anything. I mean, let's... what do you like to talk about? Um, well, uh, there is some news related to uh, SKE 48. Hmm, let's do that. Uh, I know that we recently, we talked a lot about uh, fashion show related events uh, last (laughs) Last week. And so. Hmm. Um. Top three members from SKE 48 who are going to be participating in that event and we have at third place, Nojima Kano, at second place, Nomura Mio, and in first place, Ego Yuna. Uh-huh. Oh, that's good. On September 28th. Mm-hmm. But also more with some uh, fashion shows is that it appears also that uh, Novi Zaka 46 and Eyes 1 will also be at Tokyo Girls Collection Kikakushu. Kita Kyushu. Kita Kyushu, yeah. Yes, that's right. They will be appearing on that too. I'm pulling it up. It will be on October 5th is when they will be appeal- appearing. So uh, the Nogizaka members are Umezawa Minami and Endo Sakura. And uh, in Eyes 1, we have Miyawaki Sakura, Zhang Won Young, uh, Kim Minju, and Kim Chewon. Uh... That's all would be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, but there was also another big story with SKE48 you also were going to uh, talk about as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, go ahead. So on uh, September 2nd, during, uh, I believe it was the Team K2 stage, it was announced that Kitano Ruka has been appointed as the new vice leader for Team K2. Uh, congratulations. Ruka Kitano on mm-hmm. being vice captain. That'll be a big job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, oh, but, but maybe we should do so to another big story quickly with, with AKB48 is that actually during a Team B concert in the past few days, so like Hitomi, a few, I think two draft members, Hitomi Otake and Haruna Saito, actually been now officially been promoted. That's right. They have been promoted to Team B. Officially, yeah. I mean, they were in Team B, but they have, they were kind of, they're still a draft member, but now they're just members now. And interestingly, Mm -hmm. during a showroom that Haruna... Yeah, I'm still learning about some of the members, but yeah, it is good to hear that they got promoted. I can say something about one of the members that promoted, uh, well, Haruna Saito, the only thing about her is that, like, she was actually the first person that I that I actually saw in a showroom. And yeah, she went on that showroom. She, one of the songs, she, she, play, she plays the guitar too. And she, one of the songs she sang was, um, they say, like the group's like six hit single, Can You See the Sunset? Hmm. You know that video where they have like, where they see like the sun and they're in the background? I think I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, that one. And then also in a showroom that, um, she did like this morning. Actually, I said, her, I said, congratulations on being promoted. And she saw the com, and she might have saw the comment. Hmm. Yeah, that's so good. So, but when- I'm sure there were a lot of people who were graduating. No, congratulating her. Congratulating. Yeah, gra- her. congratulating. That's what I meant to say. Oh, did no, I flub con- that? I'm it's sorry. Very similar to graduate. No, no. It's, but since then, in the past. Sorry, weeks- sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Since then, in the past few weeks that I've. Uh, Few um, drafty members in Kinkusei have been like promoted. Do you think this is maybe like the beginning of the group's comeback? 
Probably. Yeah, I mean, these. I'd say it's definitely a good sign that we're getting some. Hmm? Uh, Rook, I think you dropped for a few seconds. You can you say that again? Oh, I'm sorry. You you froze on my end. Oh, okay. You could have okay, so next I actually want to move on uh, back to Eyes 1 because uh -huh. they actually released a coupling song. Uh-huh. by two of the members, uh, Miyawaki Sakura and Kim Minju. Ah, uh, adult, uh, kind of like two people in a single, yeah. I'm thinking they for sure- No, it was two people, they wrote it. The lineup is actually, it's uh, Hitomi, Yuri, Heiwan, Chaiwan, Unbi, and Sakura, the what? six of them. Oh, they wrote a song? Oh, so that means Sakura- Yeah, can... Sakura and Minju wrote the lyrics. Well, they can, they can make a song, that's good. Okay. So, um, what are your thoughts on the song? Well, yeah, there was a preview that was shown on a Sakura's radio show. Ah. So I did a listen to some of it. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I was interested that it does sound like it is a uh, Korean. Oh, Korean. But nonetheless, it does sound very nice. Wait, so it's in both uh, Japanese and Korean? No, it's just Korean. Oh, just Korean. Oh, for a Japanese. Well, I mean, I've only heard part. Oh. Later. Mm -hmm. But from what I heard, it is in Korean and it actually sounds really nice. Oh, yeah. And there's probably going to be a music video f of it for sure. We'll see. We'll find out. And then I guess the last bit we can wrap up for Eyes One is that Miyawaki Sakura is going to guest appear on a Tokyo Game Show event. Oh, she's going to go to con to do to a convention involving games, which, by the way, Tokyo ga Game like Show is like, you could say, Japan's version of E3. Hmm. So yeah, uh, she will appear in the event uh, Miyawaki Sakura in Lenovo Fortnite, which will be on September 14th, and it'll be around, uh, it'll start around 10.45 Japan time. Oh, I have a question about that, but, uh, so it said, does that mean that, uh, Sa Sakura likes, uh, yeah, Sakura likes, um, Fortnite more than Apex Legends? She plays both games. Hello? 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 Oh, okay, oh, can oh, you oh. please repeat that? Because you froze okay. on my end. Okay, so I have a question about that, but I mean, like, does, does that mean that Sakura likes Fortnite more than Apex Legends? She plays both games. Um, uh, hello? Okay, there are some technical problems. Oh, you, you, you can hear me? Yes. Did, did you... my answer come through? Did you hear me? Oh, you can say the question. Answer the question again, please. Okay. But basically, I was saying that, yes, Sakura plays Fortnite a lot. She's played it a lot on her YouTube channel. So, yes. So, oh, so, okay. She likes Fortnite more. Okay. She does. She likes it. Oh, yeah. Because at one point when I was watching her in a V Live, I thought she might have answered my question. I said, "Oh, do you like uh, Fortnite more or Apex?" She might have said Apex Legends, but I'm not sure if she answered the question. But okay, Fortnite is her favorite game. Well, I'm sure she likes both. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. But... So I don't think it's a matter of which one she likes more. Mm -hmm. Shooter, mm -hmm. battle royale style games. Uh huh. Okay. Is Michael still here? Sorry, I had to um, go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So um, now, uh, actually, you can go on 
Jerison, and talk about something related to Team 8 that you actually saw and wanted to talk about. Okay, so, I mean, well, this is like the of a new little section in the um, show called Review Corner, where we, like, review various, like, things related to Jack, these idol groups, real idol groups. Well, today we're going to do a quick review of the new Team 8 documentary, which was released on AKB48's YouTube channel just in the past few days, and... Yeah, it's a great documentary. It's like getting a free document, AKB for a documentary, sponsored by Toyota, which, by the way, does not sponsor this show. <laughs> okay, so in this documentary, kind of focuses. Yeah, yeah hello. Won't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So, so, so it's kind of like it focuses on the group beginning. I think like since like teammate day last year, all the way to um. Actually, to their to teammate day this year, and they mainly in this documentary they mainly interviewed uh, Rin and um, Okabe and uh, Nanami Saito, and um, though I'm thinking they might have record filmed those interviews, I think like around beginning of end of last year, I think, and they kind of like like focus on the many major events that happened with the team in the past year, like for example the. Like 47 Good Streets being number one at AKB for the request hour, to the um, also the many concerts they did, and also some of the members leaving, which interests leaving the team. Although, interestingly, they didn't mention Hitomi Honda in this documentary. Well, they wouldn't because she's in Eyes One. Eyes One. But I thought yeah, they, it would I, make sense. But I thought they were going to address like something about like the members kind of like reacting to her moving to Eyes One before she moves to the group, but they didn't show that. Well, they would have done that on the actual year after she had left for Korea. They wouldn't do it now because they're focusing, you know, on 2019, I guess. They focus a bit on 2018 a bit, too. Well, yeah, like, they wouldn't talk about Honda Hitomi because that happened last year. Oh, no, the documentary last year happened before Teammate Day last year. But during that time, Hitomi was, uh, well, was uh, doing Well, produce. no, Rekka's trying to... Yeah, Rick is trying to say that we wouldn't do that because, well, it happened last year, not this year. And the documentary this year is only focusing on well, this year, not um, stuff on not stuff last year, kind of. Uh, exactly. Mean, the documentary kind of focused a bit on, like, the end of uh, last year, too, a bit, actually. Because the previous documentary ended around, you could say, like, teammate day of, let's say, August of last year. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, like, because I was thinking they were going to show, like, kind of, like, the members kind of reacting on her being put in Eyes 1, but, I mean, they didn't show that. But, I mean... Well, I think, I think he told... Uh... I, I feel like that happened before that. Wait, because I know the season finale of Produce 48 was actually at the beginning of September. Oh, Okay. Yeah, okay, so, I couldn't exactly remember when that was going on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, compared to the documentary last year, it was actually 10 minutes shorter than the one last, because this documentary was like 24 minutes long, while the one last year was around 33 minutes long. A bit shorter. But, uh,. Yeah, there and th there's some. It was interesting. I mean, there was some like part, sort of where the music in the like, in the um, the documentary, the score, like kind of like kind of sets the mood of the entire thing. But also, um, but there were some interesting shots where like when they show on like former members that were in the, that well that that left the group, although they show while they were in the group, and when they show them kind of like reflecting, and then it cuts to like member leaves group after that. But um, but they also showed more a bit from the teammate day this year, where they showed where actually almost all the me former members in the group were actually at the concert. And then it mm. kind of ends on a point that like they're kind of reflecting on like on the future of the team, which we know they're doing auditions right now to replace the spots in the team that are empty. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, so it's actually a really great documentary if you want to watch. It's available on uh, AKB Points YouTube channel, and um. Yeah, it's like you get a, a high-quality documentary for free. All right. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jerison. You're welcome. All right. Uh, last bit of news that I personally want to talk about. 
this is for Suzuki Aidi. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, she released her first solo single, uh, Escape. Uh, and on her YouTube channel, they released a music video for one of the songs included in the single, Identity. Oh, I didn't. Oh. I, I, I actually did see this music video, <laughs> and it, it was colorful. I'm not going to say the word I was about to say, but it was really <laughs> colorful. Really it was. Colorful. But I actually like the song itself as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, the song was really good, and the video, they also utilized a lot of anime shots. To me, it actually kind of looked like it was like the opening for an anime or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like really correlated with any sort of anime series or anything, mm -hmm. but that's kind of the feeling that it gave off. But yeah, I thought the visuals of the animation were really nice. It was really well animated. Mm -hmm. And oh, Idy, it was like a lot of the shots were mainly focused on her and singing with a band. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like as per usual, Idy singing, especially with this song, is absolutely phenomenal. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably a great music video, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say definitely go check that out if any of you are curious about that. Hmm. Well, All right, and all that is it. But before we end, I want to say a quick, maybe just do answer this very quick question, because since uh, summer is now done yet, yeah, what is your um, best Idol Summer song this year? Just, just uh, any of the songs released, what is your best Idol Summer song? <laughs> Me is Hinata Zaka 46's yeah. Do Remy Do, so because it's very summery. Uh, I've not focused on any other, uh, any other particular groups besides Sakamichi series, but out of the two, I'd go Do Remy So Rashi Do as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the choreography to the just look like the harmonies. And what about you, Ruka? What's your first idol summer song? Uh, uh, yeah, for me, in terms of like the Sakamichi groups, I'd say Doremi Salasido oh. because that definitely does feel like the most uh, summery Summer. feeling song out yeah. of the Sakamichi groups. Yeah. And plus, Keki hasn't released anything, so <laughs> I can't really mm -hmm. no, he has do anything. Uh, but it's let's cool see. Enough. For the 48 groups, let's see. I know that What's SVU had. Really uh, frustration, frustration was in July. It was yeah. late July, That's which I, I actually really liked that. Uh, I actually really liked Frustration, minus the <laughs> men rapping at the beginning. But... <laughs> I don't like STU for yeah, I... uh, hit single. Like, I, yeah, really like I know person. that there are like some SK fans who, for them, it's not their favorite, but I actually do really like it. I, I really like it, aside from the, mm -hmm. the, the beginning. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I think I kind of got used to the rapping. It started to grow on me. Yeah, I'm saying no. I've not listened to it in a while. Oh, I've not listened to it in a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. But in case if you want to know. Uh, but... I know that NMB had uh, Boko e Kaira, and uh, AKB, uh, I guess, would be sustainable. Huh? Would, would that. No. no. Uh, kind of because the video was released in it... August. I said, no, I think it would be on the border because the song yeah, was released it's in kinda, summer. Yeah, it's kind of cutting it. Uh-huh. But oh, yeah, I'd say for me on the 48 Grive frustration, just because, again, it is definitely uh, exemplifying the current, the new SKE. Mm -hmm. You know, it was Furuhata Nile's first center. It was such a different feel from any other single that they had done in, a, in the past. Like, there was the heavy, like, EDM sort of reggae fusion in it. And again, I know people aren't really fond of the rapping, I but again, it grew oh. on me. Oh, I and, think uh, EDM style of the song is why I like frustration a lot. Yeah. Like, I'm an EDM kind of guy. But when I watch the yeah. music video, I kind of get like the same reaction when I watch a music video of a K-pop group. Like my, my reaction to it. <laughs> but if you, if you were wondering who are the rappers in the song, I mean, the song is kind of like SK48 featuring b -Ban J and Jua. That's the rappers in the song. Mm -hmm. They have a copy in the little booklet. Even has one the of them. They actually tweeted out a link that had the lyrics of the rap portion. So that's yeah. where I saw it. Yeah, and like this is like kind of I think like the first time of any songs with to the AKB48 that are like it's a co-written song. So instead of just written by Yasushi Akimoto, it's written by Yasushi Akimoto, B Van J, and and Jua. Hmm. But in any case, so yeah. Want... Do you, want to, do you want to see or hear a bit of what, want to know what some of the lyrics of the rap? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, we don't really oh, have right. time yeah. for that. I yeah. think we should wrap up. Yeah, we should, okay, yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for the news with 
this week. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and let us know uh, some of your opinions on the topics that we talked about today. If you want, you can also leave your opinion for what you thought your favorite uh, summer single was for the Sakamichi groups or for the 48 group as a whole. And we will see you guys next time whenever we record. So uh -huh. see you then. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.